Well, hello, my friends. It's Sean Petit, and I am popping in real quick because I've wanted to do this for quite some time. And um, I want to just kind of quickly, I get asked a lot about the type of pastels that I use. And um, when, I, and I, there, it's, it can be over, completely overwhelming, as you can see by what I have here. Um, I use a variety and I have been waiting to do this video, so I've been very careful at keeping these in their spot because I knew once I got them out, they'd be all over the place and in buckets and things like that. So, um, so I want to get this video done so I can take them out and just get them all messy. But um, I thought that I would pop in and just kind of give you an idea of some like low range pastels if you're dabbling to maybe see if you want to use them to some higher end and these aren't even the the most expensive there's there's a lot and I don't typically go for the most expensive supplies in anything that I do um, just because of the layering and everything and all the stuff that happens within my work for mixed media but I'm I'm super excited because I as I started to kind of think about this and I started ordering different types. Um, there's there there's a lot to explain, and I won't get into that into in this video. I just want to do a kind of a quick overview. But I am going to have in the new uh, mixed media kickstart workshop that's coming up. I am going to go into detail about um, soft pastels and how to use them and all those kinds of things. But I want to do just a quick quick video to just show you some options um, and kind of give you the range of things. So, um, and of course, this is just my selection. And um, like I said, there's a million options out there. Um, so this one here, this one is the cheapest. And I would definitely suggest, and I'm just going to grab a piece of paper here, a couple pieces of paper, and this is this is paper that has been gessoed, um, and it's good to have gesso down on your paper because it's got a bit of a grit and it'll help sh the pastel show up. But this um, this little set is is 48 colors, and it's made, and I'm not going to say the name right, Mungyo Mungyo, um, which I think has a part in in play of all the kind of big manufactured um, soft pastels. But this little set here was, I have my sheet, um, it was $11.50. And for all of the, the soft pastels that I have and love, this little set is pretty dang awesome. Um, and the colors, while again, it's a small stick, um, it's a great option if you're just thinking about it to really kind of try out for $11.50. The color range is fantastic. I was super pleased and excited with this for the cost to be able to, to get somebody into maybe using soft pastels that wouldn't typically do that without a huge expense. And um, it's a good mid-range mid pastel. So um, it's not a uh, hard, hard, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i show you a hard stick in just a minute. And it's not super soft like some of the handmade ones that kind of fall apart. It's a really good mix of, of um, pastel for the money. And it's, I guess that's kind of why it, um, it is so good is because it is that middle of the road. It's not a hard pastel. It's not a soft, soft handmade pastel. It's middle of the road that would work for all different projects, but the colors are amazing. Um, just absolutely everything, every color, magenta and plum and all my all my favorite favorite colors including black and white and then then they give you um this it's broken this is a black and white and this is a hard stick which gives you detail lines so you've got black and white and a hard stick and then in the more soft so you can blend and 
do some fun things like that with those. So if you're looking to start out um, with soft pastels, this is a great option. So, and that's, and I'm, I will link below in the, my YouTube video all of this information um, so that you can check it out and see if it's something that if you are thinking about pastels, you can do that. Okay, so then the next one, the next price point that I use, and these I, I you, you can obviously see I use them every day, basically. And these are Soho Soft Pastels. And again, they're middle of the road. Um, this is a, a set of 120, I think it was 120 colors. And again, it is mid-range, it's soft, uh, um, but it's not super soft and it's not hard. These are not handmade pastels. Um, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I use these ones probably the most only because right now I haven't taken the other ones out so that I could do this video. Um, and I've been waiting a long time, which I have the patience. I've had a lot of patience. But good middle of the road. So these are Soho Soft Pastels. It did not come with a hard and a soft um, pastel uh, stick. It just came with all of the colors. And that's 120 colors. And the colors are pretty phenomenal. I will say, though, that the um, this set actually had, I feel like, some better color range. The, the cheap, cheap one. More vibrant color. Although this one's pretty close, it really is. And this one, well, this one was 120, a set of 120 um, pastels for um, $38, at $39, I believe. And these I use every single day. Okay, so let me set that over here. And again, I'll list those out for you. Then the next. Let's see, the next price point, I think, for starting out would be probably, let me see my price range here. Uh, the foundation set, yeah. So this is a set, and I'm going to move some of this around a little bit. Let's see if I can. Okay, so this is a set by Jack Richeson, and um, it's called the Landscape Foundation Set. And while a lot of the colors are somewhat, I guess, <clears throat> landscape-like, the colors for me were great. Um, it doesn't have all of the colors like the other sets, but what I liked about this set was it gave you kind of some of the starter things when working with pastels. So you've got, up here you've got, these are handmade soft, pels, soft pastels, so they're softer. So you get a chance to kind of experiment with um, all the things in this set. And let me just see if you can see that. Okay, so the handmade soft pastels are very soft and you get a lot, a lot of color down and they're very, very blendable. Um, you ve you see very few lines. I mean, they they are super soft. They you can use them up very quickly because they are so soft. But um, using soft pastels, so the handmade super soft pastels, um, you get some really great um, ability when you're using pastels to blend them, and the color is really vibrant. <clears throat> vibrant. Then they give you a selection of that middle of the road pastel that's a little bit harder. And you can see that when I try to blend it out, you can you can grab some of those lines so it's a little bit harder. It doesn't blend out quite as well. And then they give you the hard line ones, the hard hard uh, pastels that give you fine details that give you nice straight marks and different things like that. Um, if you're wanting to do some specific lines and things, that kind of stuff. 
um, that they give you the hard ones in in basically the same colors as the rest. So you've got hand, the handmade soft, super soft, the middle of the road, and then the hard sticks, which I think is is really awesome for um, when you're starting out because you get to kind of play with them. The color range is great. It's not all the colors, but you get all of the things. Plus, they give you um, a handmade um, soft and or handmade white and black, and you can see how soft it is just by how much it's on my hand. Um, but what this is great for is um, getting color down and changing the color of what you've got going on, and getting your like base down backgrounds. It's a wide stick super soft and great for backgrounds. So it gives you, this set gives you a little bit of everything. Um, plus it gives you two um, stumps and stumps are for blending in some of that detail. You can see how I can blend out some of those lines that were there that you don't, you, that you, I couldn't do with my finger. Plus it gives you a lot of control on where you're you know putting things and then you can clean these off and go back to work and it, it gives you like you can create um, texture with the stumps all those kinds of things then it gives you a black um, pastel is this yeah this is a black charcoal pencil um, which is perfect. Again, this kit kind of gives you all the things and you know me and my charcoal pencil. This is not sharp But it, this again will give you your details and it gives you a pencil sharpener <laughs> Let me see if I can sharpen this up and give you an example of this because this this is probably a harder charcoal <clears throat> blend that out. That's oh, pretty good. It's a, it's pretty medium. It's probably a medium, <clears throat> which is great. So <clears throat> it gives you, this kit gives you a little bit of everything. You've got your eraser, so you can kind of, and the nice thing about pastels is you can erase and lift stuff up with your eraser. And then it gives you uh, a chamois that you, obviously look at, <clears throat> you can put your hand on so that you're not, um, moving your charcoal or your pastels around. I, of course, never use something like this. I'm a mess maker when I create. <clears throat> so anyway, this kit for the for the price, so let's see, the Landscape Foundation set was $55.64. Pretty awesome for all of the different things that you get. You've And the colors, I think, are pretty great. You've got some teal, whites, grays, pinks, some bright greens, and um, same colors down here basically. Maybe a few different ones, um, but I I think this kit is pretty phenomenal for what um, it offers and for what the price is. Okay, <clears throat> next we'll get into some of the higher priced um, pastels. Let's see. So from here on out, uh, let's let's do this one. Let's do the gallery ones because they're the next step up. So these are gallery um, soft pastels. This this kit this group it comes in in this um, box together. So that that was a hundred and oh shoot. Where's the oh here it is. Sixty colors. 60 colors in this and this again is made by Meng Mengyo. Um, I didn't realize that gallery soft pastels were made by this company and maybe that's a recent thing. I'm not sure because I've purchased gallery uh, soft pastels before but these are the handmade ones and so they're the handmade uh, soft pastels are highly pigmented and um, again are a little bit softer um, and um, a lot more blendable. So this is the 60 set and I really think the colors are amazing. The the dark, the greens, the, 
the options of browns and then the neutrals down here I think are pretty amazing and the blendability on this is is fairly good it's not as this is again a middle of the road it's not super soft even though this says it's handmade it's a it's not a super soft soft pastel as you can see but the colors are highly pigmented let me go back over here and see this one blends out a little bit more my paper might be a little rough <clears throat> Um, so this is a really great option for more, for a softer, more handmade and more, um, custom colors versus my Soho soft pastels. These colors, these greens, I, I haven't seen colors like this in a set like this. Okay. So let me give you the price on the, the gallery. Um, these are the 60, these were $92. Um, for the 60 of these which I know is pricey and I'm, I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up in case you've are you already know you're into uh, you love pastels the, the, the colors on these are uh, incredible then um, gallery also offers um, like smaller sets that are cut are specific to um, like different colors. So this was a this was one of the fir first ones I bought um, that kind of had a range of colors. But I wanted I wanted more specific um, greens and blues, and I wanted I wanted all the colors. <laughs> of course, this is a great like primary set, and this one this oh this one was thirty uh, thirty five. So this set here was thirty five. So when you think about buying something like this versus this, all these colors for 95 versus this for 35, I think that's a better deal. Same company. Um, so anyway, and these are considered uh, handmade, and they are they are soft. Did I try these? Did I? Sh They're about the same. They're that medium kind of medium, not super super soft. Okay, so these are gallery. That's the next step up. And then, okay. Then Jack Richeson also, he, he, he was the one with the set, but he also does sets for specific, like this is the flora landscape. So that one was landscape and this one's more floral. So it's giving you, um, um, more floral colors and these are shorter smaller and um, these again are handmade and the colors are amazing this is softer you can see already how it blends oops I hope you can see that let's try let's try this color here look at the the richness mmm And so when you're when you're looking for soft pastels, um, you want to think about the hardness of them, what you're going to be using them for, the, the size and the shape of them. Do you want small details? That's why most of the hard sticks are very, very square, so you can do fine details, whereas the handmade ones are more round. They're, these The handmade ones are not all consistent because, again, they're handmade. But um, see, I could just I could just start playing and go into town right now. So um, these are the the flora landscape, and these are Jack Richardson. So this was forty nine dollars. So again, um, depending on where you're at in your journey with soft pastels, but I want to give you an op some options, and then to the the really for me the really expensive ones these are by Diane Townsend and um, these are, they hand make them locally in the US I, I, I think I'm pretty sure um, what did I do with my papers um, 
And so the there are different, these are called terrages and these are called the thin line terrages. And the reason I got these is because they're very, um, they're, very, how do I explain it? They're not as soft and smooth. They grip the paper really well. There's, there's some pumice in these, but they're great. The terrages that have kind of the pumice base are great for under layers to come back over because they're, they've got a little bit of pumice in it. They've got that grip coming back over it and getting distinct lines and being able to create on the top of it is super easy and it allows your colors to show up really well. Um, these are the thin line um, version of these. You can tell just by the texture of them. These are not as um, grippy. You can feel immediately the difference between the two. This has got a real coarse feeling so these um, when you're looking if you're going into some more expensive ones they're going to really be um, specific for the specific type of art or or work that you're wanting to do but these so these are the diane towns and these are also diane towns and i don't know if i said that or not um, and the these are a little bit creamier than the the, the terrages um, but i oh, the blendability, the, the just the yummy goodness of these ones I love. And these were the most expensive. And I guess you get what you pay for. However, for what I use them for, um, I honestly, I, I will probably buy some more just because I love soft pastels. But it's not a necessity. And um, the, the cheaper versions are fine, 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 fine for what I do. And so let me just share with you. So the terrages with the pumice, these ones here, they have more of a bite and you can multi-layer on them. This set right here was $69. That's kind of a lot, I think. Um, but again, you get what you pay for. Um, and the layering process for this is fantastic. So being able to put down a sky, <clears throat> put down a sky and be able to come back in and layer over it and be super specific about certain colors in certain areas. Because a lot of times when you're layering on top, um, because of the softness of your pastels, you're not able to get a good grip and get your color down. And the, the pumices do that. Okay. And then so um, this set here, which was the, let's see. Where are they? What did I do with it? Let me hang on. I'm going to find it. So um, these ones here were uh, gosh darn it were fifty nine dollars. These were sixteen, and these sixteen of the soft pastels, and these there are twelve of these. So you can see the price change in um, what you get, like quantity for the for the dollar amount. So um, I love them all. <laughs> And we'll use them all and super excited about them. But I want to talk to you real quick, too, about just some super cheap ones and some hard pastels. So these, this stash of ones, well, they're not all super cheap. These are Sennelier. And I don't use Sennelier soft pastels. They're very expensive because they're so soft that they just kind of disintegrate. And so I, I'm not a fan of those. Um, but these ones, so this is a gallery. These are various ones that I've found in craft stores. Um, I've gotten them for like $2 a stick. So a lot of times you can buy them by the stick instead of a set, which is nice because you know the colors that you want to use and, um, you know, you can buy them that way. But these are the, they're harder. These ones are harder and that's why they're cheaper. Um, let me grab hands art. 
but the harder stick ones are very, very defined lines and don't blend out as well. But you need those for certain projects. You need those for maybe details or lines or even, even writing. The harder stick ones Um, are for that purpose. Very defined lines. Whereas the soft, I don't want to use these ones, these are too soft for me. Not my favorite. Um, and see, pr sometimes price doesn't really matter as to what you like. Um, Senlier is probably the most expensive that I've purchased. So this is kind of, um, this is Jack Richardson's these are softer but you can see one it's round so you don't get a defined line as well and it's softer so you get a wider line so the harder it is the thinner the line the, the softer it is the thicker the line and then the super soft of course it would be really hard to get any type of decent kind of line. you can see you can see the difference so there's thin line, there's wide, I mean there's thin, there's wider, soft pastels, um, and they all blend out differently. But um, starting out, um, if you can only get a couple, get a couple of the cheaper ones and just try them. See how you would use them in your work. Get a white and a black and maybe a couple of your favorite colors and go to town. Um, and see how um, you like it. All right. So that's just my quick, quick jump in to kind of share with you because I get asked all the time, what type of soft pastels are you using? What do you like? That kind of thing. And so I want to show, I wanted to show you that my take on this is if you're just starting out, is to go with something like this. It's a medium pastel. It's not hard. It's not super soft. It's not anything special. It doesn't have special pumice. It doesn't have all those kinds of things. But the color range is great. It, the sticks are rather small, but if you're just experimenting, you'll be able to see for yourself what colors you'll use and um, what, um, you know, if you need a harder pastel, um, or if you even use them at all. And with a $10 or $12 price tag, you're not out a ton of money. Then if you want to go a little bit up from that, the Soho pastels, you get a wider range of colors, or more colors, I should say, for about um, $40. And that's where I would say start if you're um, not sure about using pastels. And then once you develop your love for them, then you can expand and grow and try all the fun things. All right, my friends, that is it for um, today. And I just wanted to pop in and share this information with you. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon.